In this video, we're going to be setting it up so when we connect to the server, if it's successful, we will actually transfer to the map or the lobby part of the widget. So if I hit connect and it's successful, it should be transferred to this page here. So to do that, we need some C++ and a broadcast event to kind of handle it. First, I want to clean this up a little bit on the side. I'm going to take everything here. Let's see, size box is this. Box 494. Wait, that was probably. Because I wasn't using a size box. 240. Isn't it 494? Eh, whatever. I don't even know which one that goes to. I want to move our uh, canvas panel control leave to widget info, editable text box, server name to widget info, and our map list to widget info. Rest of my leave for testing. Still have no idea what that's for, unless that's just the previous one that we placed. I have no idea. Anyways, uh, what was I? S right. So in order to bind the events where we created our test beacon, we should actually store this so we can access it to bind the event. So actually, yeah, because we only we only kind of want to bind this when the beacon's created. So we can actually do that up here. So I'm going to create that event. So in our beacon client header, we're going to do this. We're going to do declare. Dynamic multicast delegate. Let's do one param. That should be the delegate name. So F. Let's see, what should we call it? Um, connect success. I guess. Right, I'm just going to be a boolean. Be F. Uh, connected, I guess. Okay, probably don't need a semicolon. Then in the, I'm going to make another protected section. The view property blueprint implementable. Did I spell that right? That's going to be F. Connect success F connected. What we're going to do is on failure, we do F connected dot broadcast. We're going to pass in false. For the on connected, we're going to do the same thing but pass in true. So we're going to have one event to trigger true or false based on whether or not we can connect to the server. So that way we can go ahead and compile and close or to or so that way we can if we fail the connection for example we can print out a message telling the user that it failed so that way they're not just kind of left in the dark whether wondering whether or not they're going to actually go to join let's see i probably screwed you up dynamic oh, don't freeze on me now Come on, you can do it. There we go. Multicast delegate. One param. Alright, so I had a nice typo somewhere in there. And I think we need a semicolon for declaring it. Eh, whatever. Try compiling. Fails, I remove it. I can't remember. I guess is it's not needed. So it actually is required. So what am I missing here? Spelling implementable wrong. 
let's see. Check. So it's blueprint and build. Wait, no, it's not. What was it? It was something not blueprint implementable. Actually used it here. Let me check real quick. Blueprint assignable. That's what it was. Now I should be able to compile. I probably need to restart the editor in order for it to actually show up. Yeah, launch the editor. We're gonna go right back to the widget. Should be able to bind that event. Open it up. So here we have our client beacon. What I want to do is I want to create a new variable of that type. So we'll call it client beacon. Type's going to be let's see zombie beacon client. We're simply going to set it. So. so here we have our client beacon and we're going to do the connect to server so here if it's valid we're going to bind it so we're going to do bind what's it called it's connected Bind event to f connected, like so drag and connect you to the end and the events. We're going to do add custom event. Let's call this one on connected, like so. And branch. So if we connect it, meaning it's true. It's actually probably can rename that. So if it's true, we want to form the widget switcher. So we want to get the widget switcher. Try to remember which index. I think it's actually four. Ghost game. Yeah, index four. And if it's false, we're going to print string. Let's do eight seconds. We failed to connect to server. All right. Now let's actually check it. Launch two copies. Post on one, connect on the other. Well, hey, let's see. So client connected to host beacon, client connected to client valid, and it took us right to here. So transferred us right to the lobby how we wanted. So that's good. I'm gonna make another variable. Let's call this one. Um, is client or is host? It's going to be a boolean. And 
and on connection success, we set it to true. Otherwise, we're just going to set it back down to false. Oh, wait, got that backwards. Default's going to be false, but we only want it to set it to true when we actually create a host. Create host beacon. It's valid. Then we set it to true. Drag this over. All right, so when we go to create host a server, we set is host to true. That's going to be kind of our control variable. And when we confirm lead, just in general, we're going to set it to false. All right, so that can be our little control variable for the future. And I'm trying to think of what to do. I guess we can test it for when it fails. Like, see if it even displays anything. Connect. I don't know how long it's going to take before it actually even times out, but we know that we have a setup, so if it fails, it's going to happen. I mean, if it, there it goes. Fail to connect to server, and for some weird reason, it decides to spam the crap out of it. <laughs> so I guess it keeps, uh, I don't even know what it's doing, but that's not high on the priority list to fix at the moment. Now we have it set, so when we connect to the server, I want to test one more time that it makes us actually move to the lobby. Host, and I'm going to connect. Yeah, as you can see, that worked for both. So we are good to go. And so now whenever we join the server, we actually get uh, transferred to the lobby. And when it fails, nothing happens. We print out this string, although it spams the living crap out of it, which isn't too big of a deal. That can be fixed later on, but you now that we're good to go. And we can use kind of this same style of logic to disconnect ourselves. So now that we have that little feature implemented, will go about, I guess, probably disconnecting the clients and the next one. So I'll see you in that one.